A letter to the governor seeks more detailed information from contact tracing that's being done when people test positive for coronavirus. Obviously, we know that contact tracing is such an important element of controlling COVID transmission. And so we want to have the data where we can say, you know, confidently, this is where this person contracted the disease. Just this week, the District of Columbia made public specific details of its contact tracing, including examples of actual cases. The officials in Maryland are seeking the same kind of information from the state. Essentially, where are those jobs? Where are those hot spots? What industries are most prone for infection? The letter asks the state to provide information about occupational outbreaks by jurisdiction, better define family gatherings when identified as a source of spread of the virus, and collect more information about symptoms. Driving the request for the information, officials write, decisions that must be made as the school year progresses and online versus in-person instruction is reviewed. This is important for the public to have access to the information. As analysts, epidemiologists, and policymakers, of course, we look at it from a certain lens to be able to better inform regarding decision making. However, our residents also deserve to know the information. Lights are now. A spokesperson for the governor told me in response to my question that the health department is working on providing the information that the local officials seek. The uh, spokesperson said that the local officials, in his, in his opinion, already get some of this information, but said the state will work closely to provide the local officials with what they need. Reporting live tonight from the state office complex, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.